Uh, good evening, dear viewers. This is George from Ireland, and in this video, I'm going to explain why President Trump's uh, anti-Muslim tweets uh, are shameful. So, what just happened? President Trump, he retweeted things from Britain First, itself a dodgy source, uh, which allegedly showed three incidents of Muslims attacking non-Muslims around the world. So, um, who is Britain First? Well, what's this organisation? It's a British far-right party. That term is often banded around unfairly, but in this case, it is accurate. They are virulently anti-Muslim. They want to hugely restrict immigration generally. Now, restricting immigration, even quite severely, could be a decent policy if there weren't racial undertones to it. What's your reason for wanting to uh, reduce immigration? Is it economic reasons or to do with public services? Or is it just because you're xenophobic and you think foreigners are evil or something like that? And um, anyway, it's emetic that he should use this uh, very discredited source. And it doesn't purport to show what he seems to claim it shows. Um, these are all these are all incidents from outside the United Kingdom. Certainly in one case, there's, uh, there's no proof that the attacker was a Muslim. And even if these attackers were all Muslims, is that because they're Muslims or because they're bad individuals? If a Christian or any non-Muslim commits a crime, Trump and, and those of his ilk don't seem to think it's because of that person's faith. Often these so-called Muslims are only nominal Muslims, aren't particularly uh, observant, wouldn't claim to uh, really practice their faith fervently. So they do things for all sorts of reasons. They're criminals and hooligans of every faith and none. So he hasn't demonstrated any cause and effect relationship here. It's a cum ergo hoc post propter hoc. Yeah, just because this person does it doesn't mean it's because of their faith. Or do you see what I mean? You have to put take two facts together and claim that one causes the other which is not uh, always the case. Um, so he's doing this to stoke anti-Muslim uh, sentiment around the world. Um, his policy is America first, as he often says. So it's reheated that 1930s isolationist policy. Now, isolationism, it could be a logical, maybe even a humane policy, but does he actually practice that? No, he doesn't. He's very much an interventionist. Far from pulling out of Afghanistan and Syria, and indeed Iraq, he's got the US uh, further involved. So he's reneged on all his campaign promises. Uh, it's a, a far cry from John McCain's country first in 2008. Remember, McCain was a hyper-interventionist, um, so he was at least consistent in his worldview. But as you know, Trump is the ultimate flip-flopper. Remember when that accusation was thrown at uh, John Kerry being a flip-flopper? Flip-flopper. Look at Trump now. You don't know where you stand with him. So, um, uh, bear in mind the United States military is in action Muslim countries. The USA desperately needs Muslim uh, cooperation to defeat the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, and so on. There was that mosque attack in Egypt the other day. 300 Muslims murdered by ISIS. Shows you yet again that Muslims are the main victims of such organizations. Even within Sunni Islam, there are different schools of thought. Um, here were Sufi Muslims, some of the most liberal ones, killed by Salafi ones, arch-conservatives. Um, so if, if Muslims are so bad, why does Trump go and literally embrace the king of Saudi Arabia, who's the absolute ruler of the most radically extremist Islamic state in the world? Um, they're key allies, as, as Dick Cheney used to say. The US and, and Saudi Arabia see eye to eye on Yemen um, and on Iran. So uh, it's utterly hypocritical and utterly illogical. It's typical of Trump's dis dishonesty, his malevolence. Um, so he's playing to the bigoted gallery. There's some complete morons who've got no idea that the United States um, has uh, Muslim allies. If they're so bad, why are they your allies? The US Congress approves arms sales to Muslim governments around the world, from Saudi Arabia to Uzbekistan, some of them the most repressive governments of all. It reminds me of Trump's uh, slogan, Make America Hate Again. This Make It Great Again is harking back to an era when only white men uh, could vote and when lynchings went unpunished. And by the way, there are Muslims in the USA, 1% of the population, and growing, partly by high birth rate and, and uh, conversion. So American Muslims obviously have the absolute right to be there. So what he's doing is he's encouraging uh, odium towards them, and Muslims are murdered for their faith in the United States, and his uh, hate-filled rhetoric contributes to these crimes. It inspires some of these murderers, and it's true that Christians in Muslim countries are sometimes murdered for their faith as well, and that is equally rebarbative. Um, so he was trying to weigh in on British politics here. The images were not from the United Kingdom. Crimes are committed by people of all sorts of faiths, and as I say, Muslims are victims too. Why isn't he tweeting images of Muslims vic being victims of hate crime? 
Um, so the people who committed this crime, they don't typify Muslims, who are 25% of the world's population, and indeed, again, growing rapidly. If you're anti-Muslim, well, you're in deep trouble, because the Muslim community of the world is going to be much larger, wealthier, more influential, mightier, so you better, you better start worrying. Uh, so Christians can certainly do wrong too because of their faith. And I don't dispute that Muslim terrorists sometimes do do it because of their religion and indeed cite the Quran as a reason for doing that. So he uh, interfered in British politics. Can you imagine his reaction if Theresa May had weighed in on American politics? There would have been screeds for him. He would have thrown the uh, toys out of the pram. So whilst he reserves the right to interfere in everybody else's country, if anyone else expresses an opinion about his country that he doesn't like, he goes apoplectic, as indeed would many of his countrymen. With 33,000 gun deaths a year, uh, and they've just created a $1.4 trillion black hole in the budget for tax cuts for billionaires, doesn't the Trump administration have bigger things to worry about? Muslims are an essential part of the UK about 4% of the UK population, and indeed growing fast. Muslims have been in the United Kingdom for 400 years. The first mosque opened in the 1860s. So British Muslims, again, have the inalienable right to live there and indeed to proselytize for their faith. I wish other faiths were allowed to evangelize in Muslim countries. And that is a legitimate complaint that Muslim governments don't permit this. Muslims, again, are an essential part of uh, European society. Uh, there have been Muslims in Spain since, my goodness, is it the 8th century AD? Bosnia has been a Muslim country for many centuries. I know the Muslim population has grown rapidly. And I dislike extremist Islam too, as I dislike all extreme religions. And it's fair to say that the most reactionary version of, of Islam uh, is amongst the most pernicious uh, of faiths when they go wrong. Obviously, there are plenty modern and decent Muslims. So it's utterly wrong to demonize people because of their faith. And Trump is buying into Al-Qaeda and ISIS's narrative. Their discourse says that the Occident and Islam are on a collision course and must fight to the death. And Trump is actually acting as their recruiting sergeant. He is disseminating their propaganda for them. So uh, it was an utterly malicious, moronic, and grossly irresponsible thing for a president to do. And this will come back to haunt him. Chickens will come home to roost. I mean, Christians in the Muslim world are going to be um, under even more pressure because of what he's done. Likewise, Muslims in Christian countries are going to uh, face even more uh, hostility. So what we need to do is uh, spread mutual affection and build friendships and so on. And I know we won't get extremists on either side together, but we can try and improve relations and be more harmonious. Uh, what Trump is doing is very much retrograde.